algebraic fractions 8 multiply. Remember, when multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Another important thing to remember is if you're multiplying fractions together where you can cancel out common factors from the opposing numerators and denominators. So before we do this multiplication here, I can actually cancel out these a's, leaving me with just a fraction of c over b. Technically, I can divide this by a and this. These would both cancel to 1. I don't need to include the 1 here. Question. Simplify 36 over x multiplied by y over 12. Now, before we even do this multiplication, we can cancel out some common factors. Look at this 36 and this 12. I can divide both of these by 12. So that leaves me with 3 over x times y. Well, 3 over x times y is simply 3y over x. And that's my final answer. OK, question two. I'd like you to have a go at this. Before you start, I'm going to give you a hint. Your common factors to cancel out. I want you to look at 24 and 6, and also these A's. OK, pause the video, and when you come back, we'll see how you did. Pause the video now. Well done if you got a final answer of 4AB over 7. Here's my working out. Well, firstly, I cancelled common factors in 24 and 6. Divide by 6. Well, 24 divided by 6 is 4, and that 6 cancels out. Now, I looked at the A's. I cancelled an A here and here, as it's a common factor. You could have, of course, cancelled the A here and here. It really is up to you. Then I multiplied them together. 4 sevenths times AB. I wrote AB over 1. I'd really recommend doing this to make sure you don't make a silly mistake. Well, then we simply times the numerators, 4AB, and the denominators, 7. So you have a final answer of 4AB over 7. Let's try some more questions. Simplify 6x minus 42 over 5 times x over 18. Now, the first step here is to factorise. I want to factorise this numerator. So I'm going to take 6 out as a factor. So that gives me 6 brackets x minus 7 over 5 times x over 18. The reason we want to factorise is now cancelling common factors becomes much easier. Let's look at this 6 and this 18. I can divide both by 6, so this 6 cancels, and 18 becomes 3. Now we can multiply the numerators and the denominators. So the numerator x brackets x minus 7, close brackets, that's over 15. Now you do not need to go any further. You don't need to expand the numerator to x squared minus 7x. It's actually much simpler to leave the numerator factorised. OK, your turn. Simplify 4y squared minus 3y over 4x multiplied by 4y plus 3 over 2y. Now here are some clues. Just like in my question, you're going to need to factorise one of the numerators, this numerator here. Then you can cancel out those common factors. Another hint, you'll be cancelling out a letter. Also, the difference between two squares will crop up at some point. Pause the video and see how you do. When you come back, I'll show you my working out and talk you through it. Pause the video now. 
Very well done if you got a final answer of 16y squared minus 9 over 8x. Our first step was to factorise this numerator. I took y out of the bracket. y brackets 4y minus 3. Now look for any common factors we can cancel. This y and this y. So now our multiplication. We multiply the numerators and the denominators. 8x is the denominator. Now, the reason we do want to expand this is because this is going to simplify nicely because we have the difference between two squares, 4y minus 3, 4y plus 3. Look what happens when we multiply this out. 16y squared will now 12y minus 12y. That just goes minus 9. So that is our fully simplified fraction. A mistake that a lot of people make is to think you can cancel this 2 out from this here. But this is called a trapped term. So we'd have to divide all three of these terms by 2. Well, 2 can't go into 3 without leaving a remainder. So that's why you can't cancel things like that. But when we're looking across, it's much easier to if it's been taken out as a factor.